Hello, in this video we are going to show you how to use RevMob for advertisements in your game using the Cocos Helper. This video is for iOS, so just make sure you have the iOS side set up for the Cocos Helper. If you don't, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to that. Plus also there'll be a link in the description to the GitHub link with all the Cocos Helper stuff. If you want to do this for Android, there is a separate video for that, so check that out. First of all, what you want to do is go to the RevMob website, create a free account, sign in. Once you're signed in, go to monetization and then you want to go to down here and add an app. And as we're dealing with iOS, you add iOS app. You want to add a media name, which is basically the name you set for your application on the dashboard of RevMob. So I'm just going to put cool RevMob JS app. And again, these sort of properties, just set them if you know what you're doing and if you don't want certain types of information in there or certain types of advertisements in there. Okay, so you can enable testing mode. So we're going to enable testing mode with ads because we obviously want to be able to see ads. Click add. So now that it's created, all we need from this dashboard now is this right here the media ID so just copy that go to the SEH settings dot H enable RevMob so if you go here set that to true go down to the RevMob media ID now we've almost done the entire setup process there's only a couple of things left we've got to add these frameworks to our project but before we do that what we're going to do is add the Cocos, I mean the RevMob framework, which you can get from GitHub. So if you've already got the folder, just go to the iOS framework folder, go to RevMob, extract that, and you'll get a RevMob iOS SDK folder. Inside there, there's a RevMob ads.framework. Copy that, go back to Xcode, right click on frameworks, paste it into here drag that onto the frameworks or inside the frameworks folder like so make sure your options are set to the same as my project and now all we need to do is add these frameworks so system configuration store kit midi player and add support so just click the plus button system config store kit media player and finally we needed the ad support framework there we go and what you may have already noticed is the RevMob ads framework that we added to this folder got added automatically if it didn't just click the plus button and search for it it's not that difficult so we're actually all set up we can actually start showing ads we're going to show an ad banner when we first start the application so sonar Cocos Helper dot, uh, no, dot rev mob dot show banner ad because Cocos 2 JS and Xcode doesn't really have good IntelliSense. If there's a way to get good IntelliSense within this setup, like Xcode and Cocos 2 JS, please let us know in the comments, uh, private mef message, sonar learning in any shape or form because we would love to know. Uh, you can just go to the Sonar Frameworks folder, search for RevMob, and just have a look at all the different methods. We got full screen ad, show pop up ad, show banner ad, and hide banner ad. So let's just show banner ad. And what we're going to do on click, we're going to hide the banner ad. So we're going to do Sonar Cocos Helper dot RevMob. I put RevMob. That's what's annoying. About not having IntelliSense because you just get so used to it. I'm not saying you don't make mistakes with IntelliSense because you do, but less. Hide banner ad. So now let's just run this application. So what will happen is a banner will be displayed on the screen when the application launches, and when I click the power button, which we've just overridden it will hide the banner and then after that we'll show you the full screen ad and the pop-up ad it's 
probably it's going to compile in the next few seconds I can guarantee within less than five seconds from now it will be done there we go okie dokie so let's wait for our application to load up we got our ad banner I've just noticed something stupid the button that we're going to click was behind the ad so let's just move that up a bit um, so we gotta go to this right here put 200 pixels in the y-axis just using the default code that Cocos generates and that didn't quite work so well there we go see that was down here where the exclamation mark was okay let's click that as you can see the ad banner has now disappeared so the one of the scenarios you could use that is you have an ad banner on the menu and then when you or when the user clicks the play button a lot of time you may not want to add banner on the game screen so the user is fully concentrated and immersed into your game so you can call this method when the play button is pressed so what we're going to show you next ooh, oopsie daisy is the show full screen ad which is also known as an interstitial and these generate more revenue than a banner ad but you don't want to be bombarding the user with it so click the power button and our full screen interstitial loads up so let's just get rid of that and the final ad we're going to show you is the show pop-up ad so dot rev mob dot show pop up ad run this bad boy applications loaded click the power button or click the button and we get this pop up ad generally you'll probably want to use this on devices or areas that you know have low bandwidth because this is very low on the internet usage compared to something like a banner ad and definitely less than a full screen ad so there you have it if you were to click yes it will take me to a website where I can download a game I'm not really interested in that so there you have it if you have any questions anything at all feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php there'll be a link in the description to that and a link to everything else that you need and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day